Well, welcome to the next video in the Ultimate Half-Baked Bitcoin Analysis Series. In this video, we will cover a failed ticker or a failed company that failed to make it through the three crises that failed to reach its potential by taking out the all-time high. Now, if you didn't watch the previous video on Amazon, which is an example of a new asset or a new company that actually did make it through the third crisis, to uh to go on and take out its all-time highs you'll definitely want to check that out that's linked below or if you're on the page with all the videos it's actually it's right above this video so first up this is a company called akamai i believe i was introduced to this company back in the 2000 era i was working at a dot com and this was a company much like amazon uh uh, S3 or Amazon, it's a company that basically does, uh, well, I don't know what it does anymore, but it was uh, distributing assets across the globe so that things could load faster, something like that. So if we look at this company, and this is going to be a quick video because we should already be able to earmark what we talked about in the previous videos, which you have an all-time high, which is right around $347. And what do we know when you, meet, when you make an all-time high? You can then project out the lows. So the first low you would project out is this first low, and this is as price was developing. You'd project out this low. So you have your 50% mark here, which would be an important mark that, you would, that you'd be watching for, especially coming off an all-time high. And then as it goes to a lower level, which is really its first crisis. So the first crisis in this company was here about the same time that Amazon had its crisis. And we see here, if we turn this back on, turn this off, we can then create new lows and then we have a new 50% level. And the first thing that should be obvious, we're looking at the weekly chart on this, is that this company, for whatever reason, didn't live up to its initial potentials. The idea, and I, and I say it specifically like this, I say the idea, the company, the ticker, because I'm a chartist, I trade charts, I don't care about news, I don't care about a PE ratio, I don't care about any of that. I trade up, I trade straight charts, a system that trades straight charts and momentum. So I trade momentum and straight charts. I don't care about any of the news, but I can read narratives of what happened to a company, to a ticker, to an idea by looking at a chart. I say this often, I could trade the blades of the grass in my neighborhood if it was in a chart because my momentum system just does that well. So the first thing to look at is we have our 50% levels here and it's never even reached that potential. And it, so you could, we could go through and say, okay, well, here's crisis one right here. Here's crisis two. And I know I'm doing this at a high level because this is really just the way you need to look at it. Here's crisis two. It held up, but, and you could say if you did buy this at these lower lows, you're doing okay. Obviously, if you bought down here at $11, $13, and you're up to $95 or whatever the close is, 95 37 you're doing okay. But when you look at this from the perspective of what I'm talking about and, and how we're going to be looking at the third crisis of Bitcoin, this asset, this ticker, never reached its first initial thought of potential. There was a idea that this was a value of a $346. Whatever it is, I don't care what it is. There is an idea that that was the value. There's a narrative that that could be the value. What this chart is telling you from 1999 all the way to 2022 is that true idea and value of this asset has never been realized. And it's got a long way to go before it even hits 50% of being realized. I'm not making a, a, a narrative on whether or not this is a successful company, whether or not it makes money, whether or not it's a great investment right now. I'm just looking straight from what the chart tells me, what the chart tells me from the narrative of this asset, of this ticker. So it has held up relatively well from its crisis one and crisis two. And then it, it did have another test right around crisis two here. We could zoom in a lot more if we wanted to. But the important aspect is this is a failure. This is what Bitcoin would look like if Bitcoin didn't meet the potential of the idea of what, what was released to the world. So this is what a failure would look like contrasting it to the Amazon chart that you saw in the last video. And we'll contrast this chart and the Amazon chart to the Bitcoin chart to talk about the third crisis. Because really the third crisis is 
whether or not Bitcoin is going to meet its full potential and eventually break 100,000. That's really what we're talking about here. Here, this chart here, the thing you need to take away is it did have three crises. One, two, three. We could draw the value channels. They would hold up just like we talked about. It does have an inflection area. It does have another inflection area. It does have another inflection area, another inflection area. So it has these inflection areas. It has these various things that we've talked about. But it's never even measured up to its full potential. It hasn't up until around uh, 2020. It finally captured tw captured 25% of its all-time high. So it took 20 years to even realize 25% of what the initial potential was here. And I'm, I'm not making an argument whether or not this initial potential is right or wrong. I'm just going off what the the numbers say or what where it traded at. And it's got where does it have to go? It has another. 75% to go, 78% to go, to even capture 50% of the all-time high. Now, the same model that I shared on trading Amazon, trading Bitcoin, will apply when it gets up to that 50% level. The same model, everything that we've talked about, the value channels, everything else, the same model will apply. You'll be able to apply the same rules, the same value channel rules, the same momentum rules, the same Rex Dog Average, RDA rules. You'll be able to apply the same rules. So that's what's so powerful about the system. That's what's so powerful about what we're talking about here. So that's all for this video. This is an example, once again, of a failure. Uh, you can clearly see the failure. Didn't even breach, didn't even make it to the 50%, barely made it to the 25%. So this is an example of a failure. I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we'll talk about crisis one of Bitcoin.